Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Bassa. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting transfer updates for FC Barcelona. We start with this report claiming that Bassa will try to sign this Argentine international, talking about Giovanni Lo Celso, if Bernardo Silva does not arrive. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Vitor Roche, whose agent have recently promises another bomb signing in the future for football club Barcelona. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Earlier today, reports emerged claiming that Barcelona were planning to go after the signing of Manchester City and Portugal superstar Bernardo Silva this summer. Barca manager Xavi Hernandez seeks to add another creative midfielder to his ranks, someone with a good final pass so that there will be no shortage of goal-scoring chances for the attackers like Robert Lewandowski and Osman Dembele. Last season, Barca struggled with a lack of creative element from the center of the park when Pedro was out injured and Xavi is keen on addressing that by adding another midfielder to his ranks. As such, Silva is the dream target for Barcelona and Xavi is insisting on signing the 28-year-old midfielder from Manchester City but the move will be very difficult given Barcelona's current economic situation at the club. And as per Mundo Deportivo, in case the Portuguese international does not arrive this summer, Barcelona will look to move for Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso as an alternative. The Argentine international spent the last 18 months on loan at Villarreal having fallen out of favor at Tottenham and why he did move he did not exactly set the stage alight at the El Madrigal, the midfielder did put in some solid and reliable performances last season. Now back with Spurs, Lo Celso could again be on his way out this summer and Barcelona could look at him as a possible option as an alternative for Bernardo Silva. Manager Xavi Hernandez is understood to be a great admirer of the 27-year-old's abilities and sees him as a player with good last pass who can add value to the team. So as iterated earlier, Silva remains the top priority for Barcelona and effort will be made to sign him. Even though the transfer is really difficult, if it does not materialize, then Lo Celso would be an option for the La Liga champions. Of course, Xavi likes nearly every player. Like, honestly, this transfer window is looking somehow complicated, if you ask me personally. Um, normally, for midfield, it is clear that manager Xavi is focusing now on midfield more than any other department in this team. Because we can't count the number of times who have been talking about midfielders linked to Barca as compared to other positions in the team. Um, talking about Lo Celso, this is not the first time we've been talking about this guy. Um, even though the rumors had cooled down, but it has not come up. Yesterday, the rumors started swirling up again that Barca wants Bernardo Silva. And they're looking at Lo Celso as a plan B if Bernardo Silva doesn't work out. Despite signing Ilkay Gondogan last month, Manager Javi is still pursuing a new central and, in fact, an attacking creative midfielder in order to increase the depth of the squad. It is clear that Manager Javi wants depth. But now, when we look, if we want to be realistic, guys, if we really want to be realistic, looking at the economic situation that Barca currently finds itself in, is it possible for Barca to still go for another creative midfielder? After signing Gondogan, knowing full well that there are other areas that are that need to be prioritized, because I don't know, well, Javi haven't even gotten a new DM. A new DM is not even there. Busquets replacement is not yet there, as Javi says he's prioritizing that. 
But it seems as though Barca, has, they are losing focus on what they want. They are losing focus on what they want. Because today we are talking about Los Celso. Tomorrow we talk about this. After tomorrow we talk about Silva. After this. So you, you, you it, it, I don't get the point sometimes. The transfer looks the, like they don't, they haven't, Javi hasn't planned on what he wants. Because these past few days, I can't count the number of rumors talking about Bernardo Silva. After links have been saying, uh, links have cooled down and are talking about adding another central midfielder when a DM is not even there. Even though, yes, we know that players like Oreo Romero is the main target, but it looks so, so complicated at the moment. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Having helped Barca secure the signing of Vito Roque from Atletico Paranense recently, the 18-year-old striker agent, Andre Curie, has promised another bomb player for the, play for the club in the near future. Barca secured Vitor's signing from Atletico, making the official announcement earlier this week. The deal costs 30 million in fixed fee, while there is a variable component of 31 million included. The youngster will be arriving in the summer of 2024, given Barca's economic situation and fair play issues, although efforts have been made to bring forth his arrival in the January transfer window. Curie confirmed that Roque had more lucrative offers from clubs such as Manchester and Tottenham, but he opted for Barca as money was never a, a matter of consideration for the player. The agent, a former scout for Barca, played a key role in the operation along with club's new sporting director Deco. And now Curie has gone on to claim that he has another top prospect lineup for Barca for the future. He said, we have another bomb for Barca in the future. Responding to that, journalist Santi Ovale speculated that the player in question could be Estavio of Palmeiras, saying that he is called Estavio William. The 16-year-old attacker is regarded as the next big prospect coming up in Brazil following the footsteps of Vitor and Hendrik. Having turned 16 earlier this year, he signed his first professional contract with Palmeiras until 2026. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.